Hey guys, it's Mac Kids and on. And I'm making this video because recently I haven't been making a lot of videos and people have asked me, are you taking the break from Mac Kids and on or are you going to stop doing it? And the answer to that is no, I'm not going to stop doing Mac Kids and on. And to prove it, I'm going to give you a list of our future agenda. Um, so for the summer, this whole summer, summer is almost here for me, is going to be all about programming. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get Xcode in this video for the summer. And um, this doesn't mean that I'm not going to have Mac tricks for all those of you who like Mac tricks. In fact, I'm trying to keep that up too and finding new apps to do reviews on, new terminal commands that you'll love, um, and cool tricks that you can do. But I'm switching over to um, programming mode. So a bunch of you probably are not very interested in programming, but by the end of the summer I hope that you'll all know how to program and you'll feel confident making programs for your friends or um, finding out how to make more programs. So this summer is not only going to be me teaching you programming, but it's going to be me teaching you the outline of what programming really is and how to learn more programming. So I, I write, like I said earlier, I'm going to teach you how to get Xcode right now. So Xcode is what the tool on the Mac that you can download for free from Apple that lets you make Mac apps, iPhone apps, um, Unix apps, all the types of types of things. So I'll, I'll and, and I'll have a link for all the links I use in the description of this video. So here's my screen and I'm in Safari. So if you go to developer.apple.com/iphone, and yes, we're downloading the iPhone SDK which comes with Xcode because um that's what we um want to do. So um in order to um to download the iPhone SDK, you just go to this developer.apple.com then you click the Apple SDK and now you have to have an Apple ID so if you use iTunes you can go into iTunes and it shows up right here on your iTunes account it's an email address so I'm going to type my email address right here and I'm, I'm, if you're wondering why there's nothing there it's because I'm editing it out so right here now I'll type my password okay so here's my password and username. So now, if you don't have an Apple ID, you can click Join Now right here, and you'll come up with an Apple ID for yourself. So once you click Sign In, um, there will be a tab at the top of the screen for iPhone SDK 2.2.1. If it is the summer when you're seeing this, there might also be iPhone SDK 3.0. But I'm going to get the iPhone SDK 3.0. It's the same for getting 2.2.1. So on 2.2.1, where it says Developing for the iPhone, right here here's this and you can just click download right here and this will download all of Xcode and all the tools for the Mac and for the iPhone so I'm just going to be demonstrating with the iPhone SDK 3.0 but it's right here so it'll take a very long time to download um, so I'm going to do a cut here while it loads um, because it's going to take a very long time but while it's loading I'll just do before I do my cut I'll say a few things first of all the iPhone SDK um, 2.0 allows you to make apps for 2.2.1 and earlier. So even if you have the 2.2.1 SDK, you can make 2.0 apps. And you can make Mac apps. And the iPhone SDK not only comes with Xcode, it comes with something called GCC, something called Make, a bunch of great tools that you should have anyway that are just great to have. So it is 2.13 gigabytes. That's a huge file. Um, so hopefully you don't have like the 32-bit uh, uh, um, Firefox or whatever you're using to download this. But it's a very big thing. So I'm going to do a huge cut here while it downloads. Okay, so here I've downloaded it. Right here's the DMG on my desktop. Um, as you can see, it's a very big file. So when I open it up, it's going to mount what's called a disk image. So um, watch. It's it's doing this thing. So here's a window that comes up. It's a finer window actually, but that's irrelevant. Um, so it'll have about iPhone SDK. You can read through this if you're crazy or something. I uh, no one really reads through that. I can tell you what what the summary of what's in that. There's the iPhone SDK itself in packages. So if you open up packages, you can see there's Bluetooth support, all these different supports, GCC. So you can just install one of these things, even though it's not a good idea. But as you can see, it does support Mac OS X. So now I'll open the iPhone SDK.mpkg. 
Okay, so it'll ask me, you want to continue? I'll say continue. And at this point, you have to be an admin to install this, so don't try installing it on a computer you have for school that you haven't enabled root on. So here, I'm going to install Mac OS X 10.3.9 support as well, because I like that. And web objects, I might as well install, even though I never use it, because I don't want to skip out on that. So here, I'll install the developer tools to my developer folder. So, it, it'll, it'll use a lot of space, so you need a lot of space to actually install it. So I'll click continue, and it's going to take a long time to install, so once I click continue, I'm going to do a cut. Okay, so it's now finished installing. So in order to run Xcode for the first time, and I'll just unmount this now, is you open a new finder window, you go to Macintosh HD, there should be a new folder there called developer. So in this folder, is a folder called applications. Inside of that will be everything cool. Xcode, Ports Composer, Interface Builder, Dash Code. We're going to open up Xcode. So once we have Xcode opened up, and I'll just review what Xcode does. Xcode is actually for compiling apps and writing apps that integrate with Interface Builder. Interface Builder is just for building an interface. Um, dash Code is for developing um, web apps and um, dashboard widgets. And under utilities, you'll find something cool. Um, or a bunch of stuff that's cool. Property list editor, package maker, which lets you make MPKGs, and that's cool. Um, USB prober, I never really use that. Crash report preferences is cool. An applet launcher runs Java programs. Okay, so now there's like another thing, performance tools. These are things that help you do stuff like shot as a type of window. Spin control does something very cool. You can check out what that does. Um, so there are a lot of cool things here. Thread viewers for more like geeks. Um, so there are a bunch of cool things in here. And if you search for it, I'm not exactly sure where it is in here. You'll search iPhone simulator. Okay, so it's in developer platforms. iPhone simulator dot platform developer applications an iPhone simulator. When you run this it'll be a stripped down version of the iPhone that most apps won't support a bunch of stuff on it. So this is the iPhone simulator. It's it's very cool. Mine runs 3.0. If you have the regular 2.2.1, it'll be running that. You can set the hardware version to be from any any of the versions. You can shake it. You can do everything. Um, so that's the iPhone simulator. So that is all. That's the whole iPhone SDK and Xcode. I went over Xcode can create dashboard apps. Um, I have a few examples already up on programming to get you um, into into it, but they aren't actually really lessons, they're examples. So thanks for watching Mac Kids on All. Subscribe and goodbye.